Hello and welcome to another OpenTap Lightning video. In this video, we are going to be looking at parent-child test steps. We are going to be looking at some example use cases and then defining the relationship between a parent and a child test step by the help of some attributes. So let's get started. Parent steps can be used for making logical grouping easier on huge test plans. Here is an example of using two parent steps, each containing a list of child steps. The first one is called generate sine wave, which contains a list of child steps that first set the frequency, then sets the face, and then turns on the output. The second parent step groups all of the child steps that are required for measuring samples of the generated sine wave. Let's look at another use case for the parent-child test steps. In this example, I have a top level repeat step that repeats my parallel test step 10 times. Under my parallel test step, I have two children, one which generates the sine wave and the second which measures the sample and both of them run in parallel. There are many other use cases in which the parent-child test step will help with. Let's now head over to our example solution and take a look at the code that is required for defining parent and child test steps. The example code for parent child test steps are located under plugin development, test steps, parent child. Let's first look at the parent test step class. The first example is a parent that allows any other test steps to be added as children. We can allow this by using the allow any child attribute on top of the parent test step class. When the parent step is run, it runs all of the child steps in sequence. Now let's look at another parent test step which contains a couple of resources. This parent allows specific kind of test steps to be added as children. Again, this can be controlled by using the allow children of type attribute in the parent test step class. Here, we control it to only allow children of type child seeking resources to be added to the parent test step. At any point in your parent test step class, you can access the list of child steps by using the property this dot child test steps. Next, let's look at the child test step class. Here, we can see the attribute allow as child in being used on the child step. This is self-explanatory. This means that the child test step can be used only in a specific kind of parent. We can access the parent step from the child by using the get parent call. So in this video, we learned about parent child test steps. This is a very powerful concept that is provided by OpenTap. It can be used in a number of ways. We saw a couple of example use cases of how to use the parent-child test steps. And then we took a look at defining the relationship between the parent and child test step classes by using certain attributes. Thank you for watching and see you again in another OpenTap video.